welcome back to my channel. Today we are up with another video for beginners. I'm going to teach you how to make a granny square today. So this is how a granny square looks like. For this, you'll need a yarn of your choice. I'm using a 100% cotton yarn for this. And a hook. I'm using a 3mm hook for this video. To begin with, we'll make a slip knot. If you don't know how to make these basic stitches, I have separate videos for them. I'll leave their link in the description box below. Now we'll chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we'll insert a hook in the first chain. We'll insert a hook, yarn over and pull it through the first chain and also pull it through the sixth chain. This is known as a slip stitch. Now we have a circle over here or a ring. Now we'll chain three. This chain 3 will be counted as a first double crochet. Now we'll yarn over the hook and insert a hook in that ring. We'll yarn over and pull it through the ring. We'll have 3 loops on a hook. We'll yarn over, pull through 2 loops. We'll yarn over, pull through the 2 remaining loops. This will be our second double crochet. We'll make one more double crochet in the ring. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is our first granny stitch. Now we'll chain three. Now this chain three will make our edge. Now we'll again make three double crochets in the ring. So we'll make one double crochet. Two double crochet and three double crochets. This is a second granny stitch. So now you can see that this chain three has formed the edge of our square. We'll again chain three, one, two and three and again we'll make three double crochets in the same ring so this is our first double crochet we'll make a second double crochet and then a third double crochet in the same ring We'll again chain 3 and we'll make 3 more double crochets in the same ring. So this is our first double crochet. This will be a second double crochet and then we'll make a third one in the same ring. After this, we'll again make chain 3 for our last edge and we'll make a slip stitch in the third chain. So that is our first double crochet. We'll insert a hook in the third chain and we'll yarn over and pull it through that third chain. 
it can sometimes be tricky but you have to really pull it through the third chain and make a slip stitch so this is how it will look so here are the four edges it has become a proper square Now we'll make another row of granny stitches around the square. For that, we'll chain three first. Now we'll add one more chain on top of this chain three. So we'll have a total of four chains here. Then we'll yarn over the hook and we'll insert our hook in the edge of our square. And we'll yarn over and pull through the thread. Now here we'll make one double crochet and we'll make another two double crochets here. So this will be our second double crochet and we'll make another double crochet here as well. So this is our third double crochet. Now we'll chain three again. Now again this chain 3 is going to be the edge of our square and now we'll make another 3 double crochets in that same edge. So here is our first double crochet, here is our second double crochet and we'll make a last double crochet in that same edge. Now as you can see we have already started forming an edge. Now we are going to repeat this process in all of the edges of our square. We will chain one and we will make three double crochets in the next edge as well. So this is going to be our first double crochet. We'll make a second one and here is our third double crochet. Then we'll chain three again. This chain three is going to be our edge. We'll again make three double crochets in that same edge. This is our first double crochet. We'll make a second double crochet and we'll make another one in that same edge. Again, we'll chain one and repeat the process in all the two edges. So, what we'll do is we'll chain one make three double crochets chain three and make another three double crochets in the third edge then we'll chain one again and we'll make three double crochets in the fourth edge we'll chain three and make another three double crochets in the fourth edge as well So when we are on the fourth edge, what we are going to do is, we'll make three double crochets, chain three and instead of three double crochets, we are only going to make two double crochets here. Because we the chain three which we made earlier is going to be counted as our first double crochet. So we'll insert a hook in the third chain and we'll pull through the yarn and make a slip stitch here.
So once you complete the second layer, your granny square should somewhat look like this. Now we'll chain 3 again and we'll make 2 more double crochet stitches in that triangle. So here is our first double crochet and we'll make another double crochet in that triangle. Now we'll chain one and we'll make three more double crochets in that edge. So in the edges it is still going to be three double crochets, chain three and three more double crochets. And in the triangles in between we are going to crochet three more double crochets. So the whole pattern will go like three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets in the edges and then chain one and then three double crochets in the middle triangles. So this here actually is a simple granny square and there are a variety of granny squares like a starburst granny square, a solid granny square and color changing granny squares. So I'll be teaching you all these types in the upcoming videos. So now we are at the end of this third layer. So now we'll chain one and then we'll insert a hook in the third chain of that double crochet and we'll make a slip stitch as usual. So once the third layer of your granny square is complete, your granny square should somewhat look like this. Now we'll start off by making a fourth layer of our granny square. For that, we'll chain three as usual and we'll make another chain. So we'll have a total of four chains and then we'll make three double crochets in that next triangle. So that chain 3 that we made will be the first double crochet in our earlier triangle and then we'll make 3 double crochets in the next triangle. Now again we'll chain 1, make 3 double crochets in that edge, chain 3 and make 3 double crochets in that edge again. So this is our first double crochet, this is a second double crochet and this is going to be our third double crochet. Then we'll chain three and make three more double crochets. So one. two and a third one now we have two triangles on our sides so we'll chain one make three double crochets in that first triangle we'll chain one again and make three more double crochets in that second triangle and again on our edge as we know we'll chain one make three double crochets, chain three and make three double crochets again. Granny squares are actually very versatile. So you can make n number of projects with granny squares. So there are blankets, afghans, then you can make tops and whatnot. So I'll be coming up with some projects in which I use granny squares to create tops and blankets. I'll also make a video on how to join granny squares.
so I'll meet you at the end of this fourth layer now here we are at the end of our fourth layer now we'll complete our three double crochets in that edge so one two and three so now we can see we already have a chain in that triangle which will be counted as one double crochet so we'll chain one now and we have to make two more double crochets in that triangle so we'll have a total of three double crochets there as well so here is our second double crochet now we'll insert a hook in the third chain of that chain and we'll make a slip stitch and our granny square is complete once you've completed your granny square it should somewhat look like this granny squares are very easy and very versatile which is why granny squares are beginner friendly thanks for watching my video if you do like my video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos happy crocheting